previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. God damn it, Lenny, you son of a bitch. And now we continue. You still okay? I think so. Good. Oh yeah, we are. Gotcha. Of course we do. Coming. You two all right? Yes. Let's We're alive. Get money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Yeah, I don't want to. That's a waste of ammunition. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Hell yeah. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Boom. Can I get a... There we go. Alright, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't... You. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Lost my hat. <laughs> Get on the train. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. Inspect, what's this letter say? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Larry to Cornwall from Leland Oil Development. We are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration. Property reservation and Marino. We're to provide a quarter of a kerosene tar. On receipt of the funds, we'll proceed with the plot. Yeah, sure, it's just some business shit. Getting there. Oh, another letter. Here, let me go. Thank you for the telegram. You continue to visit the James Monica Hotel room in New York City. I don't want to learn about the problem, but it's simply fake. I don't want to The cold industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways. So, I certainly remain open to business. The earlier it could be the change of ideas. The other day, 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 Fine brandy. Don't mind if I do. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. A cigar? All right. Really, dude just kept a cigar in his cabinet. Ooh, that's a big old, big old briefcase-like thing. What do we got? These just seem to be contracts. 
Bond. Have you looked down? Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. First of drawers. Some premium smokies. A bill stack. Twenty-five bucks, hot damn. That's some good shit, my dudes. Let's hurry this along now. Can't carry any more of this item. Okay, what about oh I can't carry any more smokies? Well, let's smoke one up then. But I don't need to smoke one up. Are you done in there? No, I'm not. I'm stealing shit. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Get on the train. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Come on. Get on the fucking train. Is a footstep from this car. You'll end up like all your friends out here. Let's get this train to moving. I don't know where my hat went. Excuse me, you motherfuckers see my hat? But now y'all realize that, you know, that train's just gonna keep going and going and going. No stoppage. Them boys is pretty much dead. Up. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything <laughs> hey, John. else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Well, alrighty then. Let's get a move on.
I get it, the graphics are amazing, I get that, but are we really gonna have to sit through this long ass cutscene? Here we go, here's some dialogue. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. I don't like Micah. He's like a super douchebag. All I know is I've, if I have to choose between him and someone else at any point during this fucking game, I'm going with someone else. I don't care if it's the kid. I don't fucking care if it's Dutch. Why with anyone else? Anyone else. Let's go down the waterfall. <laughs> God, I kind of want to do it just to see what happened, but I'm working on it, boy. Are you fucking shitting me? Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough <laughs> oh, to hold the wheel. Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. <laughs> say less. <laughs> Bash wheel. See? You ain't so useless after all. Not quite. Right, row. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, oh, natives. Okay. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. We kind of screwed them over everywhere, to be perfectly honest. Well. Get in. I'll tell you. Oh, what, you're gonna tell me the story about how the Americans <laughs> fucked over the natives? Great. I love hearing about that. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Sold them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. Uh huh. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard it's still a fuck thing, army though. out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So... What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while, and a number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Mm. All my life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Yeesh. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. Oh my god, I, I have to understand. change clothes appropriate What's for the, the weather? You two? Jesus Arthur? Christ. Uh, I mean, they definitely got, you know, some fucking realism in this game. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Hmm. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? Fair point. It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. You acquired some herbs. They can be consumed to replenish your cores, used in cooking, or to craft items. I can cook? A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. Neat. Yeah, I don't need to read the details on plant. Thank you. Yarrow. Not quite sure what that is. I know ginseng is a energy thing, because they put it in, like, every fucking thing. Any kind of product that's marketed as a fucking energy drink or something along the likes of that. There's always ginseng in it. Always. Always. So let's have some idea of what ginseng is used for. Probably like a stamina boost type thing. Yarrow, I haven't got an idea. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Why would I bring the wagon to a complete stop? Telling me hold R1 to bring the wagon to a complete stop, that seems like like not the right thing to do in this moment. I feel like I should go forward and further. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Sup, bitches. It's your boy, Arthur. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now, now it is time to prosper. Hey, can I, I get a, some new clothes? In Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? Oh, this yeah. world it's pretty green. has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. 
I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. It isn't. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. It's time for the 12 o'clock orgy. The things have been tough, but we are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every God, day. God, nice fucking what? top hat, dork. Now remember, whatever it is that you <laughs> Fuck. Find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Donate money valuables to camp to... Alright, girls, have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, <laughs> we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson! Sleep, I shave, or change shit. clothes at your tent. Common sense if you do it properly. I can shave. Be a clean-shaven boy. That may be useful in these warm lands. Chapter 2 Horseshoe Overlook. Nice, nice, nice. So every chapter is just a new location where we move around. I fucks with that. Couple of weeks later. Am I in some fucking weather appropriate clothes? Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Mm -hmm. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His oh damn, you are beardy. Once more, I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I, I like it. We all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Homie, I am feeling that beard. Jose. Thanks, big homie. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Right on, my dude. I'm fucking digging that beard, though. That's some dope shit. Shave? No, thank you. We got in the wardrobe. The gunslinger. The summer gunslinger. The winter gunslinger. Grizzly's outlaw. The brawler's outfit. The ruffian, the rebel, the innocent, the pursuer, Jesus Christ. Okay, oof, I like the look of that one. Good for average. It's also good for every. Ooh, I'm digging it. Wow, that one's got a hat. You gotta have a hat. You're not a cowboy if you don't have a hat. So, Grizzly's Outlaw. Equip it. That's what we're fucking with there. Then let's get some. Oh, should I be wearing hot shit then? This is suitable for hot temperatures. Uh, maybe I should be. I don't know, but I like the look of that one. What else we got? The ruffian? The rebel? Ooh, that one's got a hat. 
Ooh, that one also has a hat. Yep, we'll, we'll fuck with that one. Then for average, we'll store that one on the horse. And then for cold, obviously, we'll store that one on the horse. Dope. Neat. Hats. Ooh. Choose a variation. Ooh, I like that. This will always stay on your horse. Okay. I like it. Oh, you can only get so many certain colorations. Alright. Fuck yeah, let's get cust let's customize our appearance. Fucking put on that hat. Hell yeah. Ah, never mind. Beard's getting long. You can use a shaving kit beside your tent to maintain your facial hair. Maybe I like a longer beard, huh? You ever think about that? Assholes. But it is summer. It is the summertime. Should probably get a trim. Pomod. Mustache, chin, chops. Ooh, I can fucks with that. I like that. Get that. Yeah, get that length too. Ooh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it, boys. Yeah, let's get down to length three on this side. Get this down to length one. Ooh, yeah. Sexy, boy. Sexy. Oh, sexy. Sexy. Bring Pearson animals to supply for the camp. Is there a way we can like check on the camps? Fucking, how we doing? Arthur, how's the cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in and black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. That you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. 